Jesus freak here. So, I haven't made a lot of progress on that um, Nabu emulator I showed off a couple days ago. But I uh, figured I'd see something while I was using something that wasn't about to fall apart to record video. I'm going to try to link my uh, repository, but um, that might wait until I get home from the store. You might ask, why would I want to write an emulator for some obscure Canadian computer? It so happened when I found out what the chipset was, it piqued my interest. As I had been doing some work that involved that, well, a variation of that chipset. Instead of a Z80, it was using a 65CO2. But I was doing some work with that. So... I found out about this machine and it was like, you know, I think I want to tr give this a whack. I uh, looked for some already written code to handle the three main chips. I managed to get the code for the CPU and the video hardware working. I'm still having some trouble with the sound hardware. Can't figure out how to use the um, emulator that I downloaded. As far as I understand, it's one that's been used quite a bit. So, I just don't understand it yet. <laughs> um... It's called EMU2149. Its main focus is on the Yamaha YM2149 chip. You might say, but the Nabu has an AY8910. Yes, it's an AY8910. They're more or less the same thing. And in fact, there is a special code in the emulator that lets you switch between the slightly different behavior of the two chips. So I've got the chips handled, it's just the sound chip isn't uh, completely hooked up yet. Some of the code's there, so you'll see, you know, it's, it's in the buy now. Um, the uh, second roadblock I've run into is I don't seem to be understanding the keyboard protocol fully. I have information, you know, this key generates this code. That's there, that's working. But I don't understand enough about it and it still says that there's a keyboard failure. The next thing I get to deal with is the um, cable modem, or what the firmware calls the adapter. The adapter is, like I said, it's a cable modem. It's a machine that looks exactly like the chassis of the uh, NABU itself, except different legends on the lights. Um, It, because the NABU doesn't have any drives, floppy drives, hard drives, flash drives, anything, although there was a later revision and I have actually since gotten the ROM working for that one.
because there's no on system storage everything is done through the cloud that is to say over the cable system since it's not it wasn't hooked up to the internet just uh, hooked up to a single uh, head end server at the cable company this is what I understand so far so I'd have to emulate the um, modem as well as the um, system itself and I'd I plan to do the modem through high-level emulation. I already emulate the keyboard through high-level emulation. From what I understand, the keyboard is practically a computer unto itself and actually has the same uh, CPU driving it as the Tandy MC10. This is some uh, heavy-duty equipment here for being sold to consumers 40 years ago. There's a saying, you'll know the pioneers by the arrows in their back. And I think that's very much true here. The... Um, Wait. The system was just too far ahead of its time. And only recently we've been able to uh, catch up with some of the ideas that the Nabu had. Now, I do intend to try to finish um, getting the thing going. But I might need a little help. Anyway, as far as the uh, name of the emulator goes, you'll notice I uh, haven't actually said the name of the emulator, but you do see uh, Marduk on the screen several times during my last video. Those of you familiar with the uh, Babylonian Pantheon may get the reference. In fact, if you're familiar enough with the Bible, you might also get it. The Bible mentions three Babylonian deities in the books of Isaiah and Jeremiah. These are Bel, Nabu, and Marduk. Nabu is referred to as Nebo, and Marduk is referred to as Merodach. But I was trying to think of, you know, you do have a couple names in the Bible that are derived from Nabu, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, um, but those names are just too long to use. Especially, you know, I'd have to use a Greek form of Nebuchadnezzar in order to make the illusion obvious. So I got to thinking, you know, what name can I associate with Nabu? Now I know Nabu is supposedly an acronym, but I couldn't see Nabu and think of anyone else but the uh, Babylonian deity Nebo. And in the end, I gave my emulator the name Marduk as a reference to Nabu. So that's where the name come from. Anyway, that's where I am on the Nabu project. I'm watching everyone else. I'm watching DJ Sewers. I'm uh, watching Leo, what's his name? And um, seeing how things go.
because they might be able to figure out things I can't. Also, I'm waiting for certain things they're working on. <laughs> anyway, Jesus freak out.